the Northwest Museum of Arts and Culture presents Storytime with the Mac, sponsored by STCU. Today's story is Invisible Scribble, written and illustrated by Diane Alber, read with permission from the author. This story is strange, and I think you'd agree. It's about a scribble you just cannot see. Each day he would try to spin and twirl, hoping just once he'd see a bright swirl. But sadly, it was always the same. That's how he got his invisible name. All the other scribbles were such a sight. Red, blue, and green were oh so bright. Teal and magenta had an incredible flare, and yellow and purple made the perfect pair. Invisible would watch them frolic all day, but didn't have the confidence to ask them to play. He worried he wouldn't fit into the group because he couldn't make a colorful loop. Lonely and confused, he stared at the display and said to himself, why can't I look that way? Why can't anyone see me instead of nothing at all? I wish I was good enough to be up on that wall. Red could hear that Invisible was so sad and said, maybe we could help. We have color to add. What if Blue and I spun around really quick? Maybe some of our color would fly off and stick. Invisible was shocked they were being so kind and said, that sounds great if you don't mind. The three of them squiggled and began to play. Invisible swirled in his usual way, but this time he scribbled a light violet hue. He was finally seen. He felt so new. He thanked Red and Blue for having a kind heart, and he took a giant leap to start his own art. But when he landed, he was invisible once more. He couldn't believe it. He was the same as before. Invisible cried out, Now can you see? There must be something wrong with me. With his head tilted down, he slowly walked away and said, I'll just stand here and watch you all play. Nothing's wrong with you, Orange said with a shout. We're here for you. We'll figure it out. Have you ever heard of the fun spatter crew? They can change colors like chameleons do. When the paints heard their name, they arrived in a hurry. They all got mixed up and became a bit blurry. They were having so much fun that they just weren't aware that Invisible Scribble was standing right there. It happened so fast and oh, how they splashed when they all accidentally collided and crashed. Paint covered Invisible from head to toe. Then something great happened. He started to show. His form resisted the paint and his color shined through. Invisible cheered, my dream came true. I thought all this time I was invisibly drawn, but my color just matched the paper I was on. Invisible was excited to create more art, but quickly noticed he couldn't start. I've run out of paper. I can't even try. Then he noticed a Snippet nearby. Snippet was kind and knew just what to do and said, I have some paper in a colorful hue. I bet you could make a beautiful scene with some navy blue and forest green. Snippet grabbed the paper for Invisible to try out. We believe in you, they all said with a shout. Invisible jumped on to give it a whirl. You could see every twist and every swirl. He was so happy, he yelled to everyone, Let's all create! It'll be so much fun! Spatters filled the space above and below, and the snippets made structures all in a row. The scribbles added texture with wiggly lines. There were so many wonderful, bright new designs. I can't believe it, Invisible proclaimed. I'm on the wall and finally framed. Your kindness grew my self-esteem and gave me the courage to fulfill my dream. Thank you all for believing in me. I once felt hidden, but now I can see that each of you helped fill my heart 
and made me see I was always art. I'm not going to have time to read all these words, but grown-ups, if you pause the video, you can. You can get some craft ideas for yourself and your family, or some questions that you might want to ask following the story.